Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, BFL pre-fish scouting around up at Center Hill Lake. And uh, for those of y'all who live in the Lebanon, Mount Juliet area, uh, I always stop at a place called Franklin's Market. Uh, they have no ethanol in their fuel. But yeah, we uh, we just got her all gassed up. You can see right here they have no ethanol fuel, brand new pumps, and uh, they also have uh, breakfast sandwiches so you can go get some breakfast sandwiches. But hey, we're going to get on the road. We're going to head up to uh, uh, Center Hill Lake. It's about an hour and 15 minute drive, and we'll be seeing y'all when we get there. Take a slight right turn onto State Route 109 toward I-40, then turn left onto State Route 109 toward I-40. At the next light, turn left. At the light, turn left onto State Route 109 toward I-40. Got caught by the light. Anyway, uh, this intersection is Highway 109 and Lebanon Road. In just a minute, I'm going to show you an uh, awesome boat dealer, Nashville Marine. It's where I got my Phoenix. They'll take orders. Uh, they usually have one or two on the showroom floor right now they only have one because sales have been so good but yeah if you're in the market for a phoenix boat get by nashville marine it's right over there and uh pick you up a phoenix all right we're turning in 3.7 miles, turn left to merge onto I-40 East toward Knoxville. There we go, Nashville Marine. Getting up in the mountains, a little foggy. Got uh, 14 miles to go. See y'all at the ramp. In half a mile, arrive at Ragland Bottom Recreation Area. Well, we made it to the ramp. I'm over on the camping side. Uh, I did not know you have to pay to launch at a public lake. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I know it's a core lake, but evidently you have to get one of these envelopes which are wet and uh, fill you out your information and deposit here. And I tell you what, Corps of Engineers, I'm really disappointed in this. I know on Old Hickory and Percy Priest and Dale Hollow, you don't have to pay to launch, but at Center Hill, you gotta pay to launch. So I'm a little disappointed about that. It's not the money. I can afford five dollars. It's just the fact that you have to pay. But anyway, let me get let me get this filled out and uh, get this deposited in the box so I can uh, get this boat launched and get on the on the water. And there's one more thing that I want to complain about or rant about on this video. Uh, it's uh, May seventh. 
and the park isn't even open and what i mean by that is that all the restrooms are locked up and everything it's uh unsat i mean that that's a term we used in the navy uh unsatisfactory man i mean it's freaking may and everything's locked up <laughs> so i don't know how they're going to hold a tournament here next weekend if the park's not even open and i can't imagine a hundred and something boats everybody trying to sign a slip and stick it in the little box right over there but anyway here's the here's the ramp to the campground gentleman's launching his rig right there and i want to go next looks like the water's up it's up in the trees so uh they've done done a little bit of cleaning since the flood but i don't know i'm just i'm disappointed in the core a nice one about two pounds uh, let's see how long he is uh, he's 16 and a half inches nice fish
Molly. Big this sucker is. Oh yeah. Oh, Seventeen and a half inches. Well, I found all the floating docks that are missing on the lake. <laughs> They're all down here in this cove. I doubt they'll ever get them back up. But yeah, there's all the all the courtesy docks for when you launch your boat. They're all down here in one one cove. I don't know if they were moved down here. Or if a storm blew them.
spotted bass. Well, that's it. That's uh, the Center Hill trip, practicing for the BFL coming up. Actually, I just wanted to get a feel for the lake. I don't know the lake very well, so I went from one end to the other, burned a lot of gas, did a little bit of fishing, did a little bit of scouting around. Hey, but we did get the trifecta. Had a uh, about a two pound largemouth, about a two pound smallmouth, and a one pound spot, but hey uh, yeah it was it was all right for those of you watching this video before the tournament the water is so high when i adjust the water level on uh, my hummingbird uh places that i was fishing didn't even show up on the map i was up in i was up in the mountains <laughs> but yeah it's pretty high up and uh all the flooding pretty pretty much destroyed everything around here uh all the signs and stuff at this uh, Raglan bottom, they're all out of the ground, tore up. Yeah, the flood uh, took its toll up here on Center Hill. But for you guys who uh, were watching the video, I appreciate it. Thank you. If you haven't done so, or done so already, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Click that notification bell so that you'll get an update whenever I release a new video. And uh, hopefully we can get about 300 more subscribers. Uh, I'm right on the edge of the doorstep of having a thousand and uh, that'll be my goal for this year is to get a thousand subscribers. But hey guys, uh, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time.